All right, so here's the promise test. Uh, controlling hoverboard motor with a inexpensive controller that also takes the hall sensor inputs. So here You know, the connections for power and the motor, which were on the other simple controller. But in addition to that, we also have these three, they're the same colors as the motor, but these are all sensors for the three phases. Those go in here. Um, there's additional control that is not hooked up right now, which is forward and reverse. I may want to, I may want to hook that up later. So this controller came with a simple on-off switch. And then this thing basically blinks until it starts running, then it goes green. All right, well, we'll see. All right, so the, the main difference between these two controllers is that with the whole sensor with the whole sensor um, the start is much more gentle And the RPMs, the 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 lowest RPM value is way different. I mean, look how slow I can turn it. The top speed seems to be the same. Again, this is just 24 volts. So this is not uh, the uh, maximum potential of the motor, as this is a 36 volt motor. And I plan on testing a short burst of over voltage to see how it does, if it heats up too much and runs out. So there you have it. Um, this controller was about $24.25, although they're normally $50. So somehow I managed to score it on Amazon for half. So I'm going to buy another one. I'm really pleased with it. It also comes with a nice heatsink, which uh, they do usually don't. And uh, and uh, we need to dissipate the heat, so this is excellent. It looks like a pretty solid product. So there you have it.